These now Hidalgo County investigators are trying to figure out how a canine officer at the La Jolla Police Department came to be all skin and bones. Deputies confirmed the cruelty to animals report was filed Friday, and today we went looking for answers. Action 4 News stopped by the La Jolla Police Department this morning. Our cameras were rolling as we spotted a very skinny dog inside one of the kennels, which was visible from the street. The canine did have food and water in the kennel, but he's very skinny. His ribs and hip bones stick out through his thick coat. We asked to speak to Police Chief Giovanni Hernandez, and while waiting in the lobby, we saw the chief pull up and park. So we approached him. I was just wondering if you could talk to me a little bit about the canine in a little bit. I know that the canine was brought back, was brought back yesterday, and he was real skinny. Well, the thing is kind of sick right now. Uh, I'm not a medical doctor right now. I cannot actually answer your question right now because I got other people here. You know, that's kind of rude having those people waiting for so, me here and having you here asking me questions about it. If you want, we can wait for you. If you want, este, but I've got business and appointments, so it is already like 10.41 and I'm booked until at 1 p.m. You might want to come back. Come back at 1 p.m.? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. We'll be yes, back. no problem. All right, thank, thank you, Chief. We'll see you in a bit. Unable to get a response from Chief Hernandez about the underweight canine the first time, we returned to the police department at the time he requested. Thank you. Hi, Looking Chief. Me, yes, wanted to get back in touch with you. But Chief Hernandez was still not interested in talking to us about the dog. Instead, he was upset that we approached him when other people were nearby. Very, very rude. Actually, I just called the station because I wanted to talk to the supervisor. Okay. You know, well, I hope you're nothing, able to get nothing personal, but you don't do that, Ashley. You know, when well, actually, when I got people from the community, of course. Well, Giovanni, I hope you understand. We actually have the whole thing on camera. I went over here to ask no, no, for no, you. No, over here, no, over here. When you just jumped in, and actually, yeah. well, we were here asking for you. We yeah. turned around. We happened to see you yeah. there, and that's why that's we approached why you. you. In. Yes, yes. Um, so well, we have no comments, actually, right now. Okay. And I do apologize. We shook hands, but left with many questions unanswered. Chief, you know, it's one of those things where we had to come talk to yes, you. Not we came, we saw you, we I, just I, wanted to approach you. You know that my door is always open to you guys, even if you're recording right now. We asked Chief Hernandez once more about the skinny canine, but again, he refused to comment. On our way out, we noticed the gate that was previously open had been closed. So now the dog and the kennels are no longer visible from the street. We'll continue to follow up on this story and bring you more information as it continues to develop. For now in the Action 4 News Center, I'm Ashley Custer, Action 4 News.